we are competing in a one colored house challenge. Not only do we have to pick the color of the house, but we also have to fully decorate the inside. All of this must be accomplished with the help of a single Patsy. I mean, partner. There will be a winner and a loser. The big catch is that we're actually decorating miniature dollhouses. Wait, how did I get here? This is like a dollhouse. Did someone shrink us down? I have this feeling that if I lose, I might lose everything. Come now, this is simply ridiculous. I did not invite either one of you, so whose idea was this? Not me. Not me either. Well then who set up this live feed of Ladybug and these two other nincompoops trapped in these tiny dollhouses? That would be me. I love a good game and this one seemed too good to pass up. Who are you? My name is Game Tricks. You can thank me later. What is this exactly? It's a super villain team up. I've trapped three protagonists in miniature dollhouses. The winner of the one colored house challenge will go free, but the two losers will forfeit their power, their most valuable asset to you. If Ladybug loses, then Monarch gets... Her miraculous. Correct. Barbie would forfeit Barbie Land to Brittany Brooks, and Wednesday would give up her psychic abilities to CC Prime. What's the catch? No catch. I just love a good game, especially one with high stakes. Who decides the winner? I do, of course. Now it's time for them to pick their partners. So now that you know your greatest asset is at stake, it's time to choose your partner for the competition. That's easy. Ken, the ketchup to my french fries. Bobby, nice digs. Thanks. You have to help me decorate it. Oh, phew. I was going to say. I choose Enid. She has horrible taste, but her endless positivity and cheerful demeanor will help me during this trying time, if I can keep from vomiting. Whoa. Wednesday, what is this place? It's going to be my gothic masterpiece. Oh, are you sure? Because I feel like a little pastel trim would be- I changed my mind. I don't need a partner. Too late. My gut would be to choose Cat Noir, but then if Monarch won, he would get the miraculous of creation and destruction and get to make his wish. So I better go with Rena Rouge. No, always go with your gut. Milady? No, go back, kitty cat! Take him back! Uh, did I miss something here? I can't have you as my partner if Monarch gets both our miraculous! Fine, it is what it is. We have to win this one colored house challenge! You have three hours. Your time starts now! Just because I'm French, I do not want to be served French fries! Way too many carbs and ah, there's a hand in my fries! Ah, revolting, it's attacking me! Oh wait, actually, it's trying to talk to me! Even worse! Go away, little hand! A hand without a body is ridiculous, utterly ridiculous! Oh hey, it's Thing! A gross thing? Now remove it from my plate, whoever you are! I'm Skipper, I came to visit Starlight with Barbie and Ken. Have you seen them, by the way? My lady. Cat, I'm scared. There's no akumatized villain to fight. There's no way to get out of here. What if we lose? I'm a little worried about the trim. Is it too salmony? It's too salmony, isn't it? Ken, how can you worry about that when Brad's Brittany might get control of Barbie Land? I mean, she could change the wardrobes, the aesthetic. And what will she do to the horse stables? Oh, she wouldn't dare. Barbie Mane and Tail is an institution. This is a big deal. I can feel it in my durable plastic frame. Barbie, listen to me. If there's one thing I know, it's that you are a winner. Does Olympic Barbie take the silver medal? No siree. That's for Teresa. Barbie takes the gold, baby. You're right. I can do this. That's the Barbie I know. Now, how do you feel about pink shiplap? Are you sure you don't want just a splash of color? I mean, like, maybe the roof could be like... No. But what if we... Black. Ugh, fine. You're the boss. It all seems pointless anyway since I'm going to forfeit. What? Why would you do that? It's the obvious strategic move. If Ladybug and Cat Noir lose, the Miraculous will be taken by a madman who will use it to alter the world into his own twisted design. And while I would generally be a fan of that, in this case it would be devastating. But Wednesday... And if Barbie and Ken lose, their happy-go-lucky world of high heels and convertibles will be taken over by a cynical sociopath with a thirst for vengeance. You know, the longer I talk, it's harder to hear the downside. Wednesday, you can't forfeit. Why not? 
If I lose, I lose my powers that I never asked for, can't control, and frankly despise. If the others lose, they lose everything, and hundreds if not thousands will be hurt as a consequence. But you're forgetting. You wouldn't just lose your psychic abilities, you'd be giving them to CC Prime. And those powers in the hands of someone like her, apocalyptic. You're right, Enid. Seems the selfish course is the only course. We must win. It looks like only two hours remain. Quick, grab the other end of that gargoyle. The what? We tried everything, FG. A reversal spell, a growing spell. Excuse me, we tried everything? I don't remember you being a student at this magical institution, Stimpy. Skipper, that does pose a difficulty, but I do think I have something we can try. Skipper, you said you were good at technology, right? Yeah. Oh, thing, you're so droll. <laughs> Am I missing something? He's just tapping on stuff. <laughs> Whatever, let's go try FG's thing. Oh, this is absolutely marvelous. No one can get in from the outside to help them, and they're already halfway through their time. Who will win, do you suppose? Unfortunately, I think Barbie's gonna be the winner. Win or lose, it's the game that makes the fun. You know, you are a special kind of crazy, and I don't hate it. I don't trust it, though. She could be plotting something. No plot, just chaos. It's just kind of one note. You know, I feel like a splash of color would, like, set off the black. It's not all one color. The fixtures are gray. Was that a knock? Strange. Could be CC Prime coming to collect my powers. There's still time in the challenge. Let's go and see. Thing, I knew you'd come back for us. Thing, don't shout. He says there's no way for the others to get through the magical barrier surrounding these dollhouses. He was only able to come through because he's non-magical and he's non-human. So no one can help us. We're on our own? They think the only way to escape is to draw the villains out. Make them come to us. Brilliant. How? Throw the contest? Are you mad? He means all of us. Every team would have to forfeit. It's too risky. What if the villains don't take down the barrier to come through? We could lose everything. At least if we stay in the competition, one team will win and go free. Actually, things on to something. Okay, we'll throw the contest. Go tell the others. Oh, wait, let me write you a little note for them. You know, just in case they don't speak thing. Milady, I just saw a giant disembodied hand outside the window. I think Monarch must have sent some sort of scent monster to change things up and oh, it's right there. No, Cat, it's Thing. Wednesday's friend? Oh, how rude of me. <laughs> Throw the competition? Are you sure? But Monarch, if we forfeit, he could take our Miraculous. No way, Bugaboo. He'll have to fight us to get them and he's no match for Ladybug and Cat Noir. Okay, we're in. We'll forfeit. Take deep breaths, remember your mantra. It's, it's a hand. <sighs> Sorry about him. I don't understand what this means. Just give up and let them take Barbie land? I see, it's a trap. Well, I can't say I'm very comfortable with the decision. I've never been one to shy away from a challenge, but it is signed by Ladybug and Wednesday. Okay, we'll do it. Uh... I've got some bad news, Ken. You better stay down there. Wait, Game Tricks, what's wrong with the video feed? They're all just standing in their front yards. But they still have 30 minutes to go. What are they doing? Contestants, you have 30 seconds remaining. Do we need to remind you of what is at stake if you lose? We know the consequences and we'll forfeit, all of us. Forfeit? You don't want to play the game? No, we're done playing. No, you're not. So this is a quantum reversal device. It allows me to reverse time for just a short period of time in order to retry tricky situations. So it's basically the second chance power of the Snake Miraculous. Destruum Harriotam. Now to shrink down in size, Omnibus Uparva. Quick, wind it back up. Gotta have the element of surprise, Captain. Skipper. Destruum Harriotam. Now to shrink down in size. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not so good without superpowers or magic, are we, Brad? Brittany, even if you do have good taste in sunglasses, you think you're so clever, but you're just another boring blonde. Another game ruined. <laughs> We're out! We were our partners! Back in their respective homes! Who are you? I'm Game Tricks. You've spoiled my fun today, but don't worry, I'll be back. I just love games. 
Why does that sound oddly familiar? Let's get out of here. But first, actually, let's see those houses. Welcome to my cryptic haven. Outside, we have gargoyles that leer at nosy visitors. Portraits of spectral figures hanging from the walls. Their eyes following your every move. The living room boasts furniture fashioned from repurposed coffins. The kitchen features cauldrons bubbling with mysterious concoctions. You never know when you'll find a secret passageway or fall through a trap door. Keeps you on your toes. Welcome to my perfectly pink palace. A celebration of all things chic, fashionable, and of course, pink. Throughout the house, you'll notice the scent of bubblegum, leading you into the kitchen that is only filled with candy. My favorite part of the house is my wardrobe room, filled with outfits of careers I might be on any given day. And of course, all my shoes and accessories. My backyard has a pool surrounded by all pink roses. It's the perfect place for all my parties with my Barbie friends. And Ken. Welcome to the most miraculous crime-fighting headquarters turned home. Underground, we have a full command center ready to assess the attack from all angles. The living room can also transform into a training gym, featuring holographic simulations for combat practice and emergency drills. The rooftop is our launching pad for swift, heroic exits, featuring a helipad for our new miraculous chopper. Whoa, where did I just get transported? It's snowing, but I'm not cold. Like the North Pole. What's this house over here? Hello? Is anyone here? It looks like no one's home. I'm so sleepy. I guess I'll just take a nap. It's so crazy. This looks like it could be Santa Claus's house. Looks just like a city of blinding lights.